Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Stray Gods, where last time there was a bit of a clue that pushes me back towards thinking that Athena, um, let's bring up the journal, Athena may have been the one that killed Calliope. Uh, because last time we went to visit, um, Hecate, and we ended up, ended up having to convince, uh, or, or allow the Minotaur, um, Asterion, to properly express his heart to Hecate, because he always clum clumsily, uh, stumbles over his words, accidentally kills people while doing so. It, it, it's bad. Um, but... In a conversation, he revealed that apparently uh, Calliope had visited Hecate's tower the night that she died, and that when she left, she was bleeding. So whatever killed her probably happened at Hecate's tower. Now, supposedly, she didn't touch anything while she was there. Though I suppose that also depends on what she might have been expecting to touch. Um, I, my current theory is that Apollo made a prophecy, and the prophecy is either the reveal of the gods to the public, or the, uh, the end of the gods, one of the two. And the way that Athena interpreted that is that that is the end of the gods, like the, rev the revelation of the gods to the public is the end. And her goal is to protect the gods at, n at n no cost. Let's rephrase that, because that didn't really sound at any cost. There we go. Uh, her goal is to protect the gods at any cost. The idols at any cost. So I'm thinking she, because she discovered that. And that led to her and Cal Calliope uh, having issues. Calliope wanted to follow the prophecy, which is why instead of like getting help, she went to Grace because by the, by rights, she would still be dead in a year. With Grace uh, taking in her eidolon, she would not really be changing her life by that much, like. But for now, we need to go confront Medusa, because apparently Medusa is Athena's loyal hound, uh, doing as Athena pleases. Shut up about the rats! No. I will not shut up about this the rats. This must be the viper's nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. <laughs> oh, there yes. you are. Yes, I, I was hoping for another Most character to lean candy. around the corner, Freddy? all Scooby Doo. What are you doing here? <laughs> what you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking? Why off? do you have a mace? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. Why do you have an actual mace? Freddy, please tell me you don't think you're some kind of adventurer. Um, I'm sorry, are you not about to head into a monster's lair at great personal peril? What else would you call that? <laughs> You're such a dork. I adore you. <laughs> Good, because I'm not about to let you wander in there without backup. Who knows, maybe the stuff I know about Medusa might actually apply. Well, that'd be a switch. Can she really turn people into stone? Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Yeah, they didn't exactly have cell phones or reverse uh, screens back then. All right, tell me what you know. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed. I'm not oh, that familiar of the uh, Medusa storyline. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? 
Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. Medusa is a monster, though. She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Asterion said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. That he's not just a bit. Mm. That she's not just a and big softy. I guess you softy. need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends be say. Though some of the stories prepared. also say that she was wronged by Athena, and that what was done to her was an injustice. And Athena just follows the rules, right? Hmm. Let's do this. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside. I hope. Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. So use a distraction, find another entrance, or confront the enforcer. Let's try a distraction. Hi, uh, this is where the comic convention is, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh, God. No. No, that can't be right. Do you want to The comic convention was right in the in the middle of the back of an alley, of course. Body odors? Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit. I... Uh... No, no, do not tell me that I got it wrong. I spent $50 on this ticket. I demand my personal photo. Okay, but then how does Freddy get in here? I don't think I planned that far ahead. Uh. What a long day. Hiding in the light. Such a long day. Dreaming of tonight. This. Is she eating people on stage for entertainment? You've messed up my flu. Just get your drink, girl, and take your seat. Oh. It's the mule. There are sacred bites. And then there's this sacred bite. Okay, she definitely bites the people who are on stage for entertainment. <laughs> Medusa, listen, stop, I'm warning you This is something you don't want to do mm. Tell me more about me, look at you A prime sashimi with opinions, too Medusa, listen, I'm warning you Yes, keep on warning me There's no me. rewinding, it's something you can't undo Can't undo It's kind of the point, lovely Now Questions or comments? <laughs> that right is widely known that I can turn folks to stone. But no, I won't this time. Because this time I find dine that oozy musy bloods my wine this time. <laughs> Look into me. Oh, she's looking away. Hey!
like her pet <laughs> Am I hurting the mood <laughs> When I mention her name <laughs> The fact that she'd hate That you're on my plate Only makes me more game <laughs> Medusa, look into your own eyes. Nope. Okay, the phone thing doesn't work on you. Ooh. Nevertheless, let's take a look at you. Van uh, called you hideous. That's just untrue. Enough. I'd kill for eyes like that. The body, too. Don't look at me. Maybe the hair needs some attending to. Don't look at me. Big picture, honey. It's nothing you can't undo. Yeah, you're not a killer. <laughs> you're much too cute. You're lost, little girl. No more Hail Marys. We both know the cute girl's you. The killer's me. Don't know, you don't know. I do know that you didn't kill. Kill Calliope So you know That it's true That I didn't do it No Yes, you do know you know Does that mean Athena knows No You think that will hurt me, child? You have not done your homework. Yeah, well, Freddy came oh, in sorry, with backup. Just trying to get your attention. Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. It's okay, Freddy. We 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 can we can dial it back a little Stand bit. Stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. <laughs> hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? Why were you at the reliquary? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. Also, that was I a fun song, why. by the way. Like Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. So Athena so didn't know that she was there. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. Why were you following Calliope then if Athena did not send you to do that? You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. But you didn't tell Athena. You haven't told Athena any of this? Do I need to light things up again? Cause I'll do it. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, I, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I, Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected. Did you find out why Calliope was there? 
Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. Asterion said you two met. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of the creature. Oh yes, I can tell. He killed Hecate's cat by accident. But this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? Well, I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. How can we believe you? You were trying to eat me before. Why should we believe you? Ah. You did just try to eat me, remember? <laughs> I, I appreciate I Grace for the having truth. the exact same logic. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it. I really have. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Well, what of Pan? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. Hmm. How did Pan so know? So for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. It's still. I do It is not true. I freeze the bodies of people and then bite them. Okay. But does that make me a bad person? You, for the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Indiscretion, huh? That's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth, well... Hmm. We'll think about it. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. See, this is a really interesting... Like, her song was actually really interesting. It showed, like, a lot of complexities. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Everybody. Who, I ask you? Everybody. The mystery, even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. But then if he knew that I was there, why would he help me in any way? Like he could just sit this one out. And then wait ten days, and then I'll have my trial and be dead. It just doesn't make sense. Pan sent me to the reliquary. If he's involved, why would he do that? I don't know. Guilt, maybe? Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. Yeah, you were, you were pretty awesome, though. Like, you came with a mace and an uh, aerosol can and a lighter... At, at, like, somebody who could have been a god? <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off? With an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah! One hint of googly eyes and... <laughs> <laughs> what would I do without you? 
something well, else. You'll never need to answer that question, Grace. Die? All right, Pan. Mm -hmm. I've come for some answers. Mm -hmm. Oh, if it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope, and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. What aren't you telling me? So you were what? Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me! Right now! Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. I know this. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had Correct. to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently. You sold her out. Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you what do you mean in my way? What is what what way is that? Uh, the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. All right, let's head back to Grace's apartment. End the day. It's hard to tell how days even pass. Like, I didn't even realize, like, six days have passed. I'm pretty sure a couple of those nights, I realized I had crossed over a night and ended up in a day, but it's been a, it's been a bit loose in regards to the progression of time. Oh, Hermes. Oh, uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were gonna watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are. Waited? Were you looking for me? <laughs> All over, yeah. Athena sent me to find you, but it wasn't easy. Yeah, you must have been busy. Yeah, because I stand trial soon. Right. Right, that makes sense. Mm. Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. What does... Uh, is this what you do? So this is what you do? Fairy people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby. Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, mm. you know, extra cool, right? Yeah, that's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. You knew the old Hermes. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey, he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him. Every day. Wait, isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the That's same what she person said. now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. 
maybe I'll feel him again one day. Okay, only Anyways. one. I, I only get one per episode. I'm, I'm not too, like, that's that's excessive. Um, do I have a choice? Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's going to get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. I mean, she could always come here. Everyone else does. Athena? This is also true. mortal world? <laughs> and now uh, she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? Okay, this, I feel, makes her even more suspect. Like her uh, desire to kind of contain the idols and protect the idols from the mortal world. How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. And that creepy owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Watching. So what, she just never leaves the building? Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just never where mortals are. She wears a toga and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> uh. You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. Athena is super sweet, and she has a big, important job. Why wouldn't I want to help her out? <laughs> you can't be this nice. Are you for real? Oh, well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. Let's go. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Also, I say that out of... Okay. Uh, oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. To acknowledge... Uh, mind if I say something? The voice of Super Mario. Or the voice of Mario sure. for uh, leaving his position for so long. I mean, after uh, so long. I met when I first came here. When, you know, you got it together really quick. Yeah, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. What's the voice? The name of the actor who uh, the guy who does the voice of Mario, Chris Martinent, something like that. Like it was only just announced today that. Uh... Ooh. Is this based on how? Like, I was able to choose my trait at the beginning of the game, but now the original trait I chose is not there. I can only choose between kick-ass and clever. And I think I've mostly chosen kick-ass over clever. Rather than charming. So because I haven't chosen charming, maybe that's why it's not available to me. Or am I choosing a secondary trait? It is unclear. All right. Do I want to be clever? Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem. This grace is sneakier, smarter, and witty. Or in your face. This grace is punk rock. Not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. I've always wanted to use the clever options whenever dialogue shows up. So we're going to go with Clever. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. Owl? I prefer to stand, thanks. Okay, so we know... As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are. Including the reliquary. Like, we know it is impossible I'm for Grace to have access, killed... But even you must have realized it's off limits. Particularly for your mortal friend have killed Calliope. Am I not supposed to be proving my innocence? Would you prefer I did nothing? I'd prefer you didn't break any other rules in the meantime. Such as? Do you have a list I can read, or do you just make them up as you go? You have told mm. me none of these rules. You think our judgment was rash? It was. It was. In truth, 
I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Except in theory, like, uh, like there's the whole missing thing. Like, we know where Calliope was stabbed. There's no way Grace could have done it. Do you really? Let's explore where all that caring has gotten them, shall we? You're holding on with a grip so tight, your knuckles are turning white. But that's not enough, is it? Every idol I've met is either lost or broken, or both. They're all slipping through your fingers. If you actually cared about them, you'd do something about it instead of sitting up here worrying about your precious rules. Zeus was the first to leave. King of the gods. And we don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next. Walked out into the seas. Never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered. And by one of our own. The list goes on. So you want to add to the list. So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because you can't be too careful. We are dying, Grace. Okay, so... I don't so... mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Hmm. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, even if it appears unfair. You know, it's too bad. <laughs> I've been an idol for five minutes and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have, you can't see what you're throwing away. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Who can access the reliquary? Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. I had a key. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. The same person gave it to me, who gave it to Calliope. And who gave it to Calliope, then? I see. Again, why would I help you? You went to the reliquary, right? Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? Mm. The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's that, true. That's what I'm saying. Yet, Calliope was weakened which made her more vulnerable prey oh for an gosh. enterprising mortal. One she knew. N you're, you're just making it up. Perhaps the perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. But my investigation... If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. Bonus points if you know what that's will from. You? Triple, really? actually. Because it's it's, it's very... Good luck. It, Feel free it's to not exactly well known. Your way out. Okay. 
did not take a cookie. What is up with those cookies? Are they poisoned? Don't take it personally, Grace. Athena's first instinct is to follow the rules whenever things get rough. As if she believes that if the idols don't blindly follow every rule to the letter, we'll dissolve into utter chaos. Weird. Well, is she right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Are the idols really dying? Do you think she's telling the truth about the idols dying out? I'm not sure. If it is true, why hasn't she told the rest of the chorus? It sounds like she doesn't trust you. Well, the feeling is mutual. At any rate, I'm afraid we're going to have to disappoint her again. Uh-oh. What now? You need to go back to the reliquary, Grace. Let me guess. To figure out why Calliope went there in the first place. Exactly. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. We can't ask Calliope what her plan was. But you might be able to remember what she was doing there. That, that's what I was saying. Nice. Like, okay. But I thought... That it will take years, yes. But if you go somewhere important to Calliope, or touch something special to her, you'll get flashes, feelings. Do you want Grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu? Yes. I'm willing to wager the place Calliope met her fate has left its mark in Grace's psyche. We have only to uncover it. Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. I'm certainly not suggesting we ask Athena for permission. Then you mean... A week ago, I would have said breaking into the reliquary was impossible. Yet it appears Hecate can be surprised. If her book says she will be. Let's hope the book says that again, I guess. Unless you've some other plan. I'm all ears, as they say. The, the reliquary has alarms, though. What about the alarms? I'm not eager to have Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms. At least at first. Well, I think she I'll purposely be set off Calliope's alarms. Footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? Then they discover you, and we apologize profusely. Will not be a good look, though. Just saying. Are you sure about this? You want me to wander around hoping something comes to me? I do know something about how memories work after the transition, but no, I'm not certain. You want certainty? Wait until your trial. Without discovering more, the outcome of that is certain. What if Medusa is lying? What about Pan? We could look into him some more, couldn't we? Oh my, my, my. You're just full of ideas, aren't you? Do you have any suggestions regarding how we might go about doing that? <sighs> Deja vu it is. What would I be looking for? Let's say I do this. What am I hoping to find? Some memory of who attacked Calliope, or why she was there. Anything we could work with. I've spoken to almost all the idols, and every single one says they hadn't seen oh. or heard from her. She's doing her own investigation. She's to herself. And why now? What started this? We're missing something important, Grace. What if Grace goes there, and the memory she sees is that she attacked Calliope? A grace from the future. Okay, Freddy, that's... You're it thinking a little close. bit outside the box now. All right, let's do this. Right then. Back to the reliquary it is. Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go in with you. Hecate would sense me right away. I will, however, stay close by. If anything happens, I'll come. Hecate won't stop me. The Minotaur won't stop me. Nothing will. That's great to know, but I'll try not to make it necessary. Ugh, can we just get on with this already? <laughs> Uh, 
In other words, get a room. Huh. Be honest with Hecate. Freddy distracts Hecate. Sneak in the back way. Like, in theory, all of those should work. I kind of want to be honest with Hecate. <clears throat> Damn it, it's one of those choice games where I have to be like, but what happens? Okay, I'm, I'm overthinking this because I'm pretty sure, like, this is one of those things where, like, you're going to succeed no matter what. Because if you don't access the reliquary, you can't really continue with the plot. So I'm going to be honest with Hecate. We've already done well by her so far. I think she would appreciate the honesty. Ah, so that is now. Oh. Oh, you were uh, expecting us? It is written that you would come, yes. <laughs> that is so cool, I kid you not. Yet it was also written that you would sneak into the reliquary as Calliope did, so this encounter is... unanticipated. I figured talking face to face would be more civilized and, you know, less dangerous. I appreciate your motivation. Though, surely you cannot think mere etiquette will change my answer. The only reason you won't let me in is because Athena forbids it, right? She is the one to whom I made my promise, yes. What if I said that she's a suspect in Calliope's death? Is she a suspect? She's an idol. I don't know that she's not a suspect. Yet. Without more evidence, isn't her command potentially self-serving? You will regret this. That is also written. That is a yes. Go quickly. Okay, can Look, we discuss what is touch. written? The reliquary stores many artifacts, some dangerous. Got it. Can we discuss why it's dangerous? We we can we can follow up on that, right? Um hmm. Okay, Grace. What the heck do you do now? Of all the times to not have Freddy around, <laughs> she'd love this. Why first didn't Freddy first, follow us in? How do I do this? Where do I even start? Calliope must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just... focus. Ooh. This is fun. <sighs> yeah, it's weird. Like, I've definitely been here before. Hmm. Well, let's look at the egg. I don't get any feeling from that. Will I know it when I see it? The instrument? Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Hmm. Maybe it's both. I mean, any musical instrument can be a weapon, if you are brave enough. What did Freddy say about mazes? Was it always go left? Or go left and then go right? <sighs> Trident? Is this an armory, too? But only for one weapon. The apple. Freddy, are you out there? 
Can you hear me? What am I doing? All that'll do is tell everyone where I am. I wonder if that piece of dialogue is there based on the idea that you uh, snuck in. They should really charge for tours. It's kind of amazing. Then they make some sweet, sweet money. But it also seems like they're already rich, so... I don't even know what language that is. Uh, it's written in indecipherable scribble. Low-res edition. Shouldn't that be in a museum somewhere? That belongs in a museum! Shall we look into the mirror? This is it. Calliope was here. She was standing right here. And she... Which is why she didn't have to touch anything. Or she touched the mirror. suppose there's any chance you'll put those knives away. Okay, then. Okay, what are you? They have no hearts? Why didn't it work? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's Freddy. on them they just keep coming Freddy what happened to your mace Okay, who are they? Did they just kill Freddy? Is there no way to bring her back? Oh god. Oh god, Freddy! <sighs> By the gods. You summoned the Furies. What? Those beings were the Furies. Beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I... I didn't even touch it! There was only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. I don't care what brought them! They killed Freddy! You need to help her! I have no power over life and death, Grace. None of us have that. This was no defense or spell of the reliquaries. I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. But now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. Huh. 
I was not expecting. No, I'm not leaving Freddy. Not like this. All this magic. There has to be something. Don't tell me there's no way to undo this. Come. There's nothing more to be done. Hmm. This has been a busy day. I don't even know how that has helped me. I'm sorry it came to this, Grace. It's clear what your friend meant to you. It should have been me, not her. Don't say that. This was my fight, my problem. I'm already slated to die if anyone paid the price. Your friend gave you the chance to not repeat history. Don't waste it. Grace, is that how Calliope died? Was she also attacked by the Furies? Do you remember? Yeah. She meant to use the mirror, but she never had the chance before. What was she actually expecting to use the mirror to... No doubt sent by the same person. Perhaps for the same reason. I know Calliope was there to use the mirror. But it was just feeling. I don't... I still don't understand why. There's only one use for that mirror. To speak to the fates. Yeah, okay, but why? The fates know all that is or will be. Destiny is theirs to command. Or so it's said. One contacts them either to know one's fate or to change it. Not that the fates are likely to oblige. Can these fates really control the future? They control the fate of all beings. I imagine it's they who give Apollo his powers, and they who write Hecate's books. So someone really didn't want Calliope messing with them? Or you, it seems. Could it have been the fates? Maybe they don't like being called on now for anything. They're not known to be vindictive. If they don't want to answer, they simply won't. Hmm. So, who can command the fates, or, or the Furies? Who could send the Furies after me? Even Hecate had no idea who possessed that kind of power. No one does, not these days. Hecate herself would have been my guess. Zeus might have, in his role as King of Old Olympus, but he is long gone. <sighs> Clearly someone can do it. Unless they weren't summoned. They could have been responding to something you did unwittingly, something Calliope also did. And what that could be? I'm afraid I have no clue. Why did... What are they, by what the way? What are the Furies? They didn't seem like people. Think of them as forces of nature, but an aspect mortals rarely encounter. They're older than any idol. They were created to enforce the ancient laws. There are ancient laws now? Well, you know, were. Persephone, you can sit laws on the, the couch with me, or the, the chair across from the couch. Olympus. I think there's a chair. Even if they still existed and you'd broken one, we would all know. These are not petty crimes one stumbles into. Also, all of my knowledge about the Furies comes specifically from God of War uh, Ascension, the prequel. So... <laughs> I don't think it's very relevant uh, in this game. If the Furies are so powerful, why did they stop? They just... stabbed Freddy and left. They're not assassins, Grace. They exist to punish. They demanded blood and blood was taken. It didn't need to be yours. So if Freddy hadn't interfered... They wouldn't have rested, not ever, until they had their due. I don't know what to do. 
We still have no idea why Calliope wanted to talk to the Fates. Well, there is another way to ask them. I wondered how long that would take. Hecate is enraged. She's threatened to close off the reliquary entirely and forever. Athena is beside herself. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. You just had to keep pushing, didn't you? Until you got what you wanted. This isn't about me. We're out of options, Apollo. And you know there's only one other way to contact the Fates. Oh, how convenient. Wait, wh what's this about some other way? What are you talking about, Persephone? May I explain it to Grace, or do you have another option, Apollo? If so, now's the time. I thought not. The Fates will respond to the ruler of Hades, the true underworld and realm of the dead. What I propose is that we go there and take back the throne that was stripped from me. How does one find this throne? How do we get to Hades? Do we need a key, like the reliquary? Athena took my key, and the entrance at Lake Avernus was sealed long ago, which leaves only Hermes. They won't take you. They might, if you ask them to. Then why did you come, Apollo? To gloat? To wish Grace well? Or to actually help? Get us there. I'll lead us to the throne, and Grace can speak with the Fates. It's simple. Is that something we can do? Just go to the land of the dead and... Uh, overthrow it? Truth be told, there isn't much to overthrow. Few mortals still believe in Hades, and thus... its halls have been nearly empty for eons. So how do you... The throne itself is the key, both symbolically and literally. Claim it, and Hades is yours. This is my chair. But you can't claim it because you're barred from Hades. By a rule that we would need to break were we to do this, yes. So if we go to Hades and uh, find your throne, how much trouble would that get us into exactly? A great deal. I mean, it's not as if Athena could execute Grace. Uh, that's that's time. what I was going to say. We're still going to be dead. But she's already been warned about breaking more rules. The responsibility of this will be mine. Let Athena try to take my throne again. Is Apollo right? Is this something you planned all along, Persephone? Meaning what? What that I knew what would occur at the reliquary? Perhaps you think I'm the one who unleashed the Furies upon you. You've waited for this opportunity for over a century. Waited. Yes. Bided my time. Bided my and time is probably the important key. But that's not why you originally agreed to help me? No, that's not why. Alright, I think I'm going to stop here for the night. Next time, we will go and claim the throne of Hades for Persephone. Uh, for now, though, got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.